Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Now, clinical bowling and batting from the Guyana Amazon Warriors guided them to their first ever Caribbean Premier League title following an emphatic nine wicket win over the Trinbago Knight Riders at the Providence Stadium in Guyana last evening. The Knight Riders sent in to bat could not cope with the medium pace of South African Dwayne Pretorius as they were rolled over for a paltry 94 inside 19 overs. Man of the match, Pretorius, bagged 4 for 26 to finish top of the wicket taker's chart with 20. Imran Tahir, who claimed 18 wickets for the season, picked up 2 for 8 and Gouda Keshmoti 2 for 7. Casey Carty, with 38, was the best of the Knight Riders batters. Jamaicans Chadwick Walton and Andre Russell made 10 and 3 respectively. In pursuit, an 84-run second wicket stand between Saeem Ayub, 52, and Shea Hope, 32, put the icing on the cake for the Warriors as they marched to 99 for 1 with 36 balls to spare. Hope finished the tournament with 481 runs to top the chart, three ahead of Ayub. The Warriors became the fourth franchise to win the title and broke their spell of losing the finals after losing their first five. It was the Knight Riders' first ever defeat in a final. Now Jamaica's senior women's football team will have their final training session today at 4 p.m. Jamaica time at the BMO Field in Toronto, Canada, ahead of their second leg Olympic qualifier against the Canadians on Tuesday. The Jamaicans, who are hunting a first appearance at the Olympic Games, trail on aggregate 2-0 after defending champions after defending champions victory at the uh, National Stadium last Friday. Now, Reggae Girls goalkeeper Rebecca Spencer will take part in the final session after missing Sunday's first session. Uh, through document issues on Saturday, which forced her to miss her initial flight out of Montego Bay. The winner on aggregate represents uh, CONCACAF at next summer's Olympic Games alongside the United States and will also automatically qualify for the inaugural CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup in the United States between February 17 and March 10 of next year. The game's loser will drop into a Gold Cup qualifying group, which includes Panama and Guatemala. Jamaica, who made a historic round of 16 appearance at the FIFA Women's World Cup last month, have never played at the Olympic Games. And that's it for your midday sports report. Shamela? Thank you, Jordan. And that's the midday news. Thanks for watching.